Very good morning, Friday, Market Moves on MT4 here today and uh, on the 12th of May for the last time here doing this week. Quite a fast week and not uh, too much in terms of straight and fresh directions, but a fair bit, of course, in terms of volatility. Hey, Anis, welcome back and good morning as well here to you in the UK. Starting with the UK, we got the information that uh, Interest rates had been adjusted, now sitting at 4.5%, as kind of previously expected. However, the pound was not able to gear up some momentum in this case. Previous comments from last year basically stating that the UK would fall back into a recession should interest rates be at 3%. Now we can observe that they are at 4.5% uh, and such uh, information and notes uh, had uh, uh, been absent from the uh, monetary policy uh, information. So uh, generally, of course, uh, the information at the moment in this regards here might be interesting. Let's have a look at this week, uh, what we know so far. Nothing major monetary policy summary, obviously, and uh, vice versa, the minutes, uh, as I mentioned, stating seemingly everything was uh, going like expected as expected so not too much uh, of uh, further market motivation in this case however what we can observe is that uh, seemingly the uh, pound is losing some steam we traded the market um, a few times yesterday during our news event doing oh, sorry, we traded oops what's that why is it not responsive in the browser what is up here can't switch the charts. Something wrong here in this case. Oh, there seems to be something wrong with my meter trader at the moment. Being stuck or what is it? Uh, strange situation. I can't switch the charting time frame. That's kind of hilarious right now. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, oh, now it works. Let me see if it's uh, working out. In so if I'm, that's interesting. <laughs> There's a, seemingly a bit of a bug here in my meter trader. In any case, let me open the chart again and see how it goes. Yeah, that works now. So in the uh, hours of the news event, the market was uh, falling, finding some sort of uh, uh, um, retracement uh, thereafter. I mean, markets were falling already pre-market, uh, pre-market basically, pre-market event technically. So uh, the markets fall uh, fell a little bit. Uh, there was a bit of a retracement higher and we took like twice the chances to uh, grab some pips of this market here um, yesterday and uh, we found uh, two opportunities here. A pound US dollar, um, actually two positions uh, in this case. So once with a bit of profit, second bit of profit and then the other position also leading towards the nice big sell-off where we captured a bit of this market move to the downside. Now, the question is, will the continuation happen here? Will the market fall somehow further? I mean, we got a clear resistance, yeah? So we got this clear resistance, pin bar candle sticking out to the upside, the market technically, and in terms of the trend here, you can see my shorter term trend line, when we're extending this uh, over towards the long-term move, we would still be, in sort of a supportive territory, right? So I wouldn't say the market is overly bearish to be traded at the moment, but um, when looking at it from the ceiling resistance zone, we could also agree that the market is already and had already gone quite a bit to the upside. Question, if now some sort of fresh US dollar strength uh, causes this market to push back to lower levels, uh, might very well be the case. And uh, hence, obviously, we might see that further market momentum uh, here towards uh, the lower areas could be the answer, which uh, I would say is uh, potentially happening as well. So for the weakness, uh, the pound obviously kind of trading weaker here. If the support line holds, we could see the market retracing like it's doing at the moment and that's the interesting part here will this be just a, a bit of a retracement or will this be the remaining of fresh push towards uh, another move another lag back to the upside uh, depending on how steep we'll draw our trend line we could agree potentially on a, well a potential upside motivation at least towards the a ceiling, the fresh ceiling, which could be around this area, should this trend line have a say. However, it's pretty much short-term charting pattern at the moment, at least, of the long-term chart. 
that's my take that uh, the uh, um, supportive trend here, the uptrend is seemingly in play, helping the market to run somehow towards uh, higher levels. So let's see if that one continues and uh, let's see if the market will move again back to higher areas here uh, in this regard from the current market environment uh, as we can observe. So that's uh, this market. Then let's have a look on the euro against the pound. That was uh, quite interesting because it did a bit of a turnaround here. Yesterday the market found some sort of support here. Not my preferred currency pair to be honest. A few times when I traded this market really didn't give me much success. So better staying off here is one of the ideas when getting too much uh, hammered in terms of losing trades. So maybe not the best one to trade however looking at it from the weekly and from the monthly chart we could maybe say hey the market is still kind of in a bit of a falling price mentality will the euro weaken somehow further which i would believe it could then we could see as well that the euro pound weakens somehow since the euro pound might trend further towards lower levels so that's the interesting situation i would say making perfect sense here in this uh, market environment and uh, in this regard we could see that uh, should the market fall somehow we might see further uh, depreciation here in this currency pair and we might see that the uh, pound uh, gearing up some sort of steam let's have a look entry wise uh, daily chart maybe below the current low could be one area or maybe at the recent ceiling here could be another area where we could uh, sell the market uh, back towards lower levels that's at least how i will look at it here from this perspective and uh, when looking at it here in, in this market environment i would say that makes perfect sense here that the market potentially when triggering new low points uh, being ready to fall somehow further towards lower levels uh, anytime soon so maybe something worth considering as i said not my preferred currency pair but uh, something definitely uh, we should keep an eye on here um, in terms of uh, market motivation for the time being today nothing major to be expected in terms of news uh, we got something from new zealand inflation expectation not uh, anything major i would say here the gdp from the uk had come out already and that's uh, maybe something worth considering gdp figures they offer a backward looking factor to be honest so it's not really something where usually economists would uh, focus on when assessing the market momentum. However, we can observe that it is somehow slightly better. Manufacturing production increasing somehow. That said, we are running still 10% inflationary pressure, right? CPI figures are quite high and uh, a further move to the downside might be the outcome here at some point so manufacturing production slightly better than expected so all over aspects have been slightly positive which at least at the moment could be one of the reasons why the market is running somehow towards higher levels however not going to expect a lot of a lot of momentum here just out of this information on this indicator the pound itself against the japanese yen had lost substantially as well it seems like all the charts are not uh, i cannot really change the time frame in any case um we know what we're talking about here um i can observe that the market is uh, just no that's not true it's not moving at all what's happening here kind of buggy buggy meter trader never had this okay now this works um also the pound against the japanese yen is starting up some sort of momentum slight momentum at least uh, to higher levels so going to be interesting whether the market continues uh, to fall back into the recent sideways pattern and potentially even break to the upside i would for now delete actually i'm not too sure but uh, uh, on the hot assets, I had uh, I had uh, written this morning that I would have deleted this order. I'm leaving this in since this account I'm also observing day in, day out. It could give us some sort of uh, important uh, momentum to higher levels. Should we see that the resistance line being broken? And I'm talking about this zone up here. It's kind of uh, the same area we talked about a couple of times. And I'm glad that we didn't enter any of these positions because the markets uh, correction is quite steep here for now but uh, the long-term trend and that's the big story here is still up and running and should we see a continuation pattern we might indeed see 
that the market continues at least towards the profit target, which is why the initial first profit target would be at the 170, what is it? Uh, very small here, 170, uh, sorry, 177, yes, 177 area, exactly where we have uh, our um, profit uh, target, so uh, any potential push to higher levels could be something which the market could take into consideration to rise somehow further. And again, same story. We got a bit of a rise here as we speak. And uh, the question remains whether this would be now enough even to justify if, uh, according to the short-term trend line, we can observe that the market has broken already uh, to higher levels and that we might see indeed some sort of positive momentum lasting somehow further which uh, could potentially kind of offer upside momentum here in this market uh, to run back to higher levels so that's the key takeaway at least uh, i would say for my side here and the key takeaway of course at the moment uh, in this case uh, for this market potentially to run back towards uh, towards the upside areas e.g 177 uh, range. What else do we have? That's the most general idea at the moment. The oil market is uh, running again slightly lower. Glad we kind of uh, took profit in our trade. I think we did everything all right here in this case. Uh, oil kind of uh, helped us to generate a bit of profit here actually nicely and uh, we ran all the way towards the resistance zone. So quite often which I'm what I'm doing in my uh, trading idea or for my uh, trading strategy is that uh, I'm assessing whether the market is finding some sort of support somewhere and around certain support areas, uh, seeing where the market could head to. Next falling trend line in question is the one which helped the market from falling, from rising somehow. And now we can observe that the market is kind of uh, running a bit more, more to lower levels. That obviously also impacts the um, uh, Canadian dollar as uh, a weaker oil market helps uh, the Euro cat running a bit more to the upside here as well so the same story uh, here as we can observe uh, let me also open the chart again here uh, helping us to assess further market momentum in this case so fresh chart here a daily chart we can observe that uh, also this market is about to push back to the upside anything of uh, particular potential resistance is what I would like to take uh, into consideration to sell again maybe we can find new entries at uh, around the 148.50 range here maybe any how anyone any of the higher areas uh, could give us potential falling price momentum so far on the monthly nothing much to be said the weekly looks quite bearish the daily as well so i would say there is quite a bit of momentum to be expected uh, still to the downside medium term and now stock markets well, we can observe that the Aussie and the Kiwi are seemingly weakening again somehow further. And uh, those ones weakening could also help us uh, to get further information in regards to stock markets. They might uh, indeed run back to lower levels. Uh, currently, we can't observe anything much there, though. We can only see that the S&P is running sideways with some positive market momentum. So the upside at least uh, makes somehow sense here for the time being however getting us into a closer look for any bull run i think uh, the nasdaq is something which is interesting here for us and uh, in this case uh, upside momentum is actually still there but a bit of a correction happening so whether the market kind of falls back to lower levels say 13,380 or so or kind of starting to appreciate already at around the higher area here, back to the upside uh, remains the big question here right now. I just look at it from this perspective that candlesticks are getting smaller. Either we see some strong push to higher levels or we potentially see some uh, potential much weaker momentum in terms of volatility increasing and volatility being already quite low question is will volatility fall further could be or whether do we see another higher point another spiking of volatility which is after the timely manner here i would say we had a peak in february march 2022 then we had another peak in may 2022 so we are talking march here and may june we could see indeed that the, potentially if this curve continues there it might be some sort of further volatility uh, on the rise and uh, that obviously a higher volatility would lead 
for stock markets to fall somehow further further nothing much uh, uh, news in this case from my side here guys but uh, i think uh, i'm extremely happy with our trading account this week we had uh, quite a few great positions uh, and uh, quite a few nice uh, trades working in our favor so i think nothing wrong with this for us uh, for the time being right now so patience is obviously key fund management and risk management and uh, as you guys might know having followed me for quite a while i'm pretty much really keen on taking my risk tight in order to lose less so i can keep more money for trading the markets that's my take oh silver and gold actually substantial moves to the downside quite hilarious actually um some say well in in light of the uh, big move uh, towards uh, these upper areas previously it's just normal that a certain correction should follow we could play it also off the uh, off the fib level if you want to play it off the high to low point um, then we would have reached the 38.2 retracement if using what i would use here we are really at spot on the 38.2 retracement here and uh, in this case we might say hey look is the market now starting to appreciate again further i think the uptrend is still pretty much in play but uh, it might be a bit of a volatile or more volatile session to be expected here so um careful with any bull market runs here yesterday i thought hey maybe at the 50 moving average basically at the 24 20 level 24 20 level i thought maybe the market will and we can see it was highly reactive obviously end of uh, trading in the us asian trading not much volatility at most times but um, the market was not falling somehow further until earlier this morning any sort of risk 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 highly risky trades could of course be a potential buy stop above these uh, low points here 2410 say that's a zone where we might see potential entry opportunities here in this market just i'm not too sure if this is really something uh, interesting obviously to uh, consider uh, in the next uh, couple of trading days or uh, sorry next couple of trading hours since we are already trading on a friday that's my take guys happy trading now i'm trying to fix my meter trader let's see what's up here probably just a reboot i think uh, and then uh, to get going with further uh, further communication from my side happy trading talk to you soon cheerio bye everyone